It is Saturday night. I am home from another race day. Callie and I went over to DeSoto, Kansas and did some racing. Well, Callie didn't, but I did. Did some racing with the KC FPV folks. I had a good time. Nothing pretty much went the way it should have. First off, I'm talking to you now because I lost my GoPro. I had set it at the start finish gate to film quads going through and at the very, very end, I remembered I set it there and I went and looked for it and it was gone. So I'm hoping someone picked it up and put it somewhere safe, fingers crossed, still looking for it. But uh, I had a lot of like vloggy content on that camera that didn't make it home. Let's see, that happened. Uh, what else happened? I flew like crap. I was definitely fast enough to get three laps every single heat and I I got three laps, one heat out of five. Crashed a lot. The gear felt pretty good. The grass was too tall for turtle mode, which kind of kicked my butt. As usual, the guys in KC are amazing. Thanks to Mike at Mid-America Multi-Rotor. I got two different prizes via their kind of just random raffle. I got an Immersion RC Tramp video transmitter. Super cool. That's actually like a $40 prize. And I got a set of uh, Dow props. So definitely pretty excited about that. The other thing is uh, a guy named Darren. Darren Smith, a lot of times we race on his land. He was walking up and down and looking for people that were running the Emax 2306 motors. I happen to be running the Emax 2306 motors and he had a set that he's no longer using and he totally hooked me up with them. So there was a lot of good things that happened in the day. I definitely came out ahead between the good times, the good prizes. I did get some footage from today on this camera. I got some interviews with the top pilots. I got some race footage. So I'm gonna share that with you guys, send you out with it. And then one other thing before we go, next weekend, fingers crossed, I think we're gonna be promoting a race in Columbia, Missouri. Now I know there's a race in Omaha, but that's, I don't know, six hours from here. So I, I think it's pretty fair to go ahead and host a race here that this next weekend. Hopefully that St. Louis guys can come over. Any of the Casey guys that aren't able to go to Omaha and probably start it later in the day. But if you're interested in drone racing, be sure and subscribe to this channel. I'll get you more details later so definitely check out and enjoy these interviews and these clips and we're going to catch you next time on heart of america fpv later <laughs> so i got a uh, roll of tickets somewhere around here uh, we're going to uh for every lap you complete we're going to have you put your name on a ticket we're going to put it in a hat Pretty well, we're heading into the fifth round. I believe we have 37, 37, 37 pilots. Yeah. Any idea who's in the lead? Uh, I was guessing it's going to be Tristan. Up next, Mr. Race Bot. Race numbers. That's my guess. You got to stay on it though. Yeah. Sonic. the dirty taboo success to the race because nobody apparently is running five or success so we can't get it into multi gp so that's what i ran today and uh it performed well but i completely lost <laughs> i think I, I don't know the actual results because i know i didn't get first place just simply this this lap format i crashed like right off the bat in the first one got a zero Immediately, I couldn't win the race. Uh, I know there's a lot of people out there that says just because you're running success, that's just like you're automatically going to win. No, no, it doesn't work like that. Not at all. I mean, there were guys getting laps just as fast as you were. Yeah, yeah, exactly, I mean. exactly. So depending on the course, the length, the whatever, um, there doesn't have to be an advantage to, to success. And this is a tame success. We're running 1800s, but you, you can't run much more KV than that and, and get the flight time. So so it turned down the, the KV. It has a real reasonable top speed. It is a little bit faster than the 4S's, but I've got to make two minutes. I've got to get my laps in, so I can't actually use that speed as much as I'd like. I think the back straight, I did notice last time I was going down the back straight at 50% throttle. I was just just keeping the battery in check and, and keeping it in a reasonable pace. So Yeah, yeah, it's been DR1. We've been running these like crazy full throttle everywhere. So this, this track was awesome because it had some very slow technical parts to it, which I had to learn to fly because 6S gives you a power band that goes from like 20% stick to 100% stick. And you fly everywhere in between. I find the smaller ones, I'm flying it 
90 or 100 percent most of the track and that's just where i'm at so so i actually relearned to fly at the bottom and it's it's different that's kind of what i think what took me out in the race is i got into trouble and i blipped the throttle to get out and i just blipped into something so you have to relearn to fly what's uh, next for you this year so i know there's a race in korea i know there's a mega drone x um those are the the big two coming up i think i'm gonna have to pick one of those two but uh it never stops well good flying today Thank thanks you. a lot appreciate it Third place with 16 laps, but he won by, just believe me, we in third place with that brain drain today. There you go. With 17 laps, Mr. Josh Waldron, Buzz Lightbeer. Yeah. First place with the perfect four all the way across every round, Tristan Gilbert. Yeah, second place, just a really technical track with a, a lot of speed. Flew it consistently and try not to go too fast and baby the battery to get the laps in. Right on, so uh, big win today, huh? Yep. My first race back from Reno. Just got to hang out, fly some of my friends, Brain Drain, uh, Rigo, Josh Waldron. It was a fun day. In the early heats, I thought the race was going to be best three out of five, and you dropped the two. Turned out that it was going to be all your laps through the day, so that kind of changed my flying style. Instead of going as fast as I can, just being a little more conservative. Had a lot of crashes, but some I recovered from them, so that was pretty nerve wracking. Made it through it though, got four laps, ended up getting first place. Next week, I'm coming up to Omaha, Nebraska for or the race of the undead. This will be the third consecutive year. After that, it's just fun racing and hanging out until next season. Good deal, man. Well, congrats. Thank you. Thanks a lot.